everybody! So I am here with a really fun video today. Today I'm going to share with you my favorite fall lip colors. And I'm not saying lipsticks because I do have a couple of glosses and some stains and I'm really really excited about it. I love fall time. I really love to get into a really pretty berry lip or even a bit deeper into a vampier lip. Those are like my favorite lip colors of all time. I love fall, let me tell you, I could go on about it. Um, but today I'm going to share with you um, 13. I don't know why I have 13. I was going to try to like knock it down to 10, but then I just couldn't leave some out and I have to share them with you. Um, and I actually have a good amount of higher end and then a good amount of drugstore as well. So you're getting a mix of different ones. And really exciting, I'm actually going to try the lip colors on for you. I've never done this before. Um, I'm really Really nervous about how it goes but we are I'm actually going to try each lip color on for you so you see it on my lips and then I will swatch it as well so you can see a swatch of it because sometimes I have I have a bit of pigment to my lips and the pigment that I have in my lips is purple um, I have a bit of purpleness naturally to my lips so that's why I really like berry tones um, because it just brings out my natural lip colors a little bit more mauve -y colors bring that out um, so I really just love berry colors, but some people don't have pigment in their lips. Some people have a lot of pigment, so it's going to look different on you than it is on me. But if you do have a bit of a purpley undertone to your lips, like I do, um, you will be able to see kind of what it looks like on my lips. Um, and then I'll give a swatch as well. So let's go ahead and get into my favorite. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our higher end and then work our way to more drugstore. Um, the first one I actually have on my lips right now and it is Max Syrup. And this is one of my favorites for fall. It's a really pretty um, kind of, pinky, mauve purpley. It has a little bit of berry to it. Um, as you can see on my lips, I think it brings out a little bit of purple, um, but it's very, very wearable. It's a very, very wearable color. Um, I love the finish of it. It looks a little pinker than it does on camera here um, than in person. It's a little bit more mauve and a little bit tad bit of purple in there but again super super wearable easy to wear if you're scared of those really dark colors for fall um this one's an easy one to wear and i love it and this one is a luster too so that is max syrup the next one by MAC that I have on is actually a nude color and nudes are going to be really really big for the fall time. Um, it's an easy color to wear too besides those vampy really dark colors. Um, so this one is in kind of sexy and it is a matte finish. Um, it is a bit of a peachy brownie nude. Um, it's not exactly your typical um, kind of concealery nude or pinky nude. Um, it has a tad bit of peach, but mostly it's kind of a brownier nude. Um, it's definitely wearable though. Um, I like that they kind of have a little bit of that peachiness tone to it because then it makes it more wearable rather than just like a straight brown nude. Um, it's really, really pretty one. Um, very natural looking, an easy one to wear. And I actually really like this formula. I was really scared of matte lipsticks for a while, but this one is super, super creamy and lasts a really long time and feels really good on the lips. So this one is a max kind of sexy. Okay, as I put these on and take these off, you're gonna start seeing like redness around my lip area just because I'm like scrubbing them off. Um, but the next one is again from MAC. I have this one and then two more from MAC. I'm kind of a MAC lipstick addict. Anyways, this one is in Twig and it is a satin finish. Um, I love this color for fall. It's very, very 90s, um, has that brownness to it, but it also has a tad bit of mauve. It is a bit deeper than your typical nude. Um, this would be a really, really pretty color on many, many people. Maybe even if you have like really deep, dark brown eyes, this would be really, really, really pretty on you and make your eyes really pop. So I really like this one. Um, again, it's more of a brown with a bit mauve in it but it's really really awesome for fall it's kind of 
that in between, I always call it the in between a summer to fall shade because it doesn't have that like typical berryness to it, but it's just a really pretty, pretty indifferent color. So I really, really like this one. So this one is Max Twig. Okay, so this next MAC one is Max Rebel, and this one is a very, very, very popular one. Um, it is a satin finish as well. Um, it is a bit deeper than all of the other colors I've shown so far, um, but it is a very wearable color. Um, I think it's a beautiful berry, a deep berry color. Um, it looks very scary in the tube here. Like, I received this a while ago and I was like oh my gosh I can't do it um, but it's very very wearable it's a lot more sheer than it looks in the tube as you can see um, it has a little bit of a pinkness to it I think which where it makes it a little bit wearable but again it's just that really deep berry color and I love it it's perfect for fall it's so gorgeous on and it's a good one it's definitely a good one so this one is Max Rebel so this next lipstick is a little bit deep and vampy. This one is Max Diva lipstick. It is a very, very deep burgundy color, as you can see. Um, I really, really love it. I think it's gorgeous. It's pretty for the fall. It has a bit of red in it, um, but it is that deeper, vampier color. Um, this one is maybe not one to start out with. Um, I actually just purchased this one, and I really love it. It's a different color. Um, it is a matte finish, so it's going to be a little bit more you know matte and not as glossy or anything but it is really really creamy and it does stain so I'm gonna have to work to get this one off but this one is Max Diva okay this next one might be my favorite I really 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 love it um, this is the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in Rapture and it's just a really really pretty berry color but it's a very very wearable berry color um, it has a little bit more purple in it um, than the mauviness um, I just really like it it's again wearable it's not deep like uh, Max Rebel but it's just a wearable color it's easy it feels really good on the lips um, and it wears for a really really long time so this is probably it's probably like top three of my favorites for the fall. So this is Urban Decay's Rapture. Okay, the next one is a drugstore one. This is by Rimmel and it is called Vintage Pink. I always think of this one as kind of a similar one to Max Syrup, but kind of also a little more purple like Rapture um, by Urban Decay. So this one's kind of like a little bit in between with a hint of like pink in it. I don't know, it's just really unique. I really love the color. It's a great fall one. Again, a very, very wearable one for the fall. Um, I love busting this one out in the fall time. It's just so much fun. Um, like I said, it has a bit of mauve, but a same, it has a little bit of berryness to it too. Um, I've The reason I actually purchased this one, because I saw someone call this a dupe for Max Syrup, which is just a great one, and I ran out and bought it, and it's very, very similar to Max Syrup, but it's not dead on. So this one's a great wearable one. I love the Moisture Renew line from Rimmel, so this one's a really, really good one. So this one is Rimmel's Vintage Pink. Okay, this one is Milani's Black Cherry. Now, this one is definitely not one I reach for very often. Actually, when I, uh, whenever I wear this one, I actually will just kind of dab it and then kind of just smooth it into my lips just to get a hint of that berry color. Um, but it is a deep oxblood with a hint of purple, but mostly like that deep burgundy kind of color. Um, it's not as red as Max Diva, um, but it does have that hint of like burgundy in it. So it's definitely deep. It's definitely vampy. Um, I do love the Milani lipsticks. They're so awesome. They smell like candy. I don't even know. Oh God, they smell so good. Literally when you open the tube, it's like, oh, smells really really good so if you don't like smelling things you probably won't like this one but this one's a really really fun one um, like I said I just kind of like 
I'll dab it and then I'll kind of smooth it on and it just gives like a soft kind of reddish burgundy color which I like a lot better than this. This one can be a lot high maintenance and I am not into high maintenance things um, usually because I'm the type of person that will wear a high maintenance lipstick and then smear it along my face during the day and no one will tell me. So that is Milani's Black Cherry. The next one is one of the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains, and this one is in Smitten. And I really, really like this one. It's kind of a deeper raspberry color, um, but it definitely has a lightness to it. It's not too vampy, and it's just a fun one to wear. I actually really like wearing this in the wintertime around, like, Christmas time. It just reminds me of Christmas time. I love it. Um, it's definitely a sheer... Um, kind of balmy texture. Um, it's not going to be super, super opaque, um, but I really like this one. It's a fun one. Um, it's definitely coming off a little bit more pinkiness in the viewfinder here, but it's definitely more of like a raspberry um, color. So I really like this one. It's a fun color for the fall and even the winter months. So this is Revlon's Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Smitten. Okay, that one took a little bit to uh, scrub off because that one definitely stained and stained my hand here. Um, but the next one, actually the next couple are going to be a couple glosses and this one's actually a lip balm. And I really, really like it for the fall time. Um, as we start to get in colder months, uh, my skin dries out and my lips dry out majorly. So this is a great one that has a bit of color in it. This is the NYX Butter Lip Balm in Brownie. And it smells like heaven. Um, it smells like pure vanilla, but it's a really just sheer kind of nudie brown color. Um, nothing really special, um, but I just like the way it feels. I love the way it smells. Um, it just feels really good on my lips with adding a little bit of color, and the color is really appropriate for the fall time. So I really, really like this one. This is the NYX Butter Lip Balm in Brownie. Okay, this next one is again from NYX, and you could really wear this one all year round. Um, it's a pretty basic color, but I really like it. I think it's a good one for the fall. And this is the um, NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. And it's a bit um, of a mauve pink color. Um, it's a little bit deeper than... Um, like Eclair or Creme Brulee. Um, it has a bit of that mauve deepiness to it, and I really like it. Um, I think it's a good one for fall, but again, you could totally rock this one all year round. So this is NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. Okay, this next one is yet again another NYX Butter Gloss, of course. Um, this one is in Raspberry Tart, and it is just a really pretty purple color. Um, but the great thing about this one is it shears out to a really pretty purple berry. Oh, I just love this one. This actually would pair really, really nicely over on top of Max Rebel um, if you wanted to add a little bit of gloss to that lipstick. Um, it's a really beautiful yet wearable color. It has a tad bit of a pinky sheen to it, but it's definitely a pure purple. When you look at the actual gloss, it looks purely purple, but because it's a little bit sheer, it shears out to that really pretty berry color. So I really like this one. Again, a very wearable and easy color to wear for the fall. So this one is NYX Butter Gloss in Raspberry Tart. Okay, and last but not least, this is the Maybelline, one of the Maybelline Elixirs, and this one is in Mauve Mystique. And I really like this one because on me personally, I have a bit of purple undertones to my lips, like I was saying before, and this one really pulls out that kind of berry tone, even though it is more of a mauve -er color. Um, I love the feeling of these. They're, oh, they feel so good on my lips. I just really really love them um that is the maybelline elixir in mauve mystique i just 
I love these. Um, I feel like they feel like a balm. They have a bit of shine and glossiness to them. They're not super sticky. Um, and I find that I actually wore this to work yesterday and um, towards the end of the night, the gloss had kind of wore off and the balminess had worn off, but the color was still on my lips. It like had stained my lips a little bit. So Mauve Mystique is definitely a good one for the fall time if you want to pick up one of the Maybelline elixirs. I absolutely love with this one. So this is the Maybelline elixir in Mauve Mystique. Okay guys, and that is it for my favorite fall lip colors. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys enjoyed that I tried them all on. My lips are like burning right now after all of that try on. Um, they're gonna hate me tonight. Um, one thing before I go, I wanted to mention um, a great thing to prep your lips for those really, really darker colors um, is a lip scrub. And I have this one from Lush. This is the popcorn lip scrub. Um, I definitely, I actually used it here in between when I was changing out lip colors. Um, it just helps to really, really exfoliate your lips and keep them a little bit moist too. And it just gets rid of all that dead skin. I highly suggest doing a lip scrub for your lips. Um, you can make them. Um, I've made my own many times um, and I also really like the Lush ones. So definitely use a lip scrub if you are going for a damp, uh, vampier, darker lip. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!